okay, this is wicked cool, and it's something that the Visual Studio people have had for a long time that we're just now starting to get. If you open up a file, and I and it, it works with ad hoc SQL too, right? And let's say that I want to. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, doesn't really matter. I want to code fold. Ah, here I'll do this instead. Sorry, I'm floundering here. We'll do REPL admin. Okay, so I got all these, and you notice how I get these little, these little lines and these minus signs down here. This is called code fold code folding, right? So I can sit here and fold these guys up, all up in here, and I can manage these guys uh, a lot easier. And and you notice it goes it goes by the select statement, right? So it's not just select statements. It goes by it goes by any individual in any individual statement, right? So let's say if I have uh, backup SPs. Um, you notice how it goes to the alter, and then it goes to the comment, and then it goes to the set, then it goes to the backup line itself, right? So um, every every uh, every logical place it goes through, it parses through, and it gives you a and it gives you a um, a collapse icon there. So you can create your own code regions in here, and if you've got really really long functions or really really long insert statements, right, where the everything's printed down. Um, you know, 50 different lines. You can fold that up, and it makes your SPs a lot easier to read, or your code a lot easier to read, so you can get around a lot better.